topic for today is integrating images. So under integrating images, we have pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art, chart, and screenshot. So first is pictures. Picture is an artifact that depicts visual perception. So under pictures, we have three categories. So first is the JPEG. JPEG is commonly used method of lossy compression for digital images. So it is widely accepted. So here's an example of JPEG. So as you can see, it is written here in the file name that it is a JPEG type. So here's another example. And so on. So next is the GIF or the graphic interchange format. It describes a fixed size graphical area populated with zero or more images. GIF also supports an animation. For example, So here is an example. As you can see here, it is written it is a type of a GIF. Here is another example. So as you can see, the picture is moving. It's like a compilation of consecutive shots. So next is the PNG or the Portable Network Graphics. It supports transparency in browsers with an elegance the GIF does not possess. So the difference between the PNG and the JPEG in the GIF, PNG has a transparent background. So here's an example of a PNG. So as you can see, it don't have a background. It's just the shape of the image or the shape of the picture it is also written here it's in PNG so that's all for pictures so next is the clip art clip art is a pre-made image used to illustrate an image so in other Microsoft Word the clip art is already available or, is, or installed so here's an example of clip art. So you can choose here. Yes, that's all for clip art. So next, we go on to shapes. Shape is the form of an object, object or its external boundary outline. So you have different kinds of shape. You have lines rectangles, basic shapes, black arrows, equation shapes, flow charts, stars and banners, callouts, and many more. So next to shape is the smart art. It is used to quickly and easily make a visual presentation of your information. So here's the smart art. There are different kinds of smart art. This process, cycle, and many more. So, so, example. Here's an example. It is written here to, uh, it is written here a guide how you use a smart art depending on the type of the smart art you will use. So, Next is the chart. It is graphically graphical representation of data. So chart is often used to see the difference of the data. So here's an example. So there are different kinds of chart. There are columns, lines, pie, bar, area, X and Y scatter, stock surface donut bubble radar so for example let's use a pie
so so we you will list down here the data and the chart and you can see the data the representation of the data here in the chart like this so next is screenshot from the word itself it's like capturing the screen as you can see the screen was captured so here's the example of the screenshot that we made so it's a picture now So let's go on to image placement. So under image placement, we have the wrap text. So there are different types of wrap text. We have inlaid with the text, square, tight, through, top and bottom, behind text, and in front of text. So first is inline with text. So we have here a picture. We, use, we will use a PNG picture so we can see the difference of the different kind of wrap text. So, wrap text in line with text. Oh, it's already in line with text. So, as you can see, the picture is, is in line with text. As you can see here, yes. The picture is in line with text. So, next is the square. So, here an example of a square. Wrap text, square. So, as you can see, the text is like a form of a square. And let's go on to tight. So tight, wrap text, tight. So tight, it, the text is, takes the shape of the pictures. So you can see here, takes the picture. So next is through. So again, wrap text through. So through. Through is like a tight, but the the sentence or the words pass through the picture the picture is between the sentences or the words so next is the top and bottom So top and bottom, up text again, top and bottom. So as you can see, the description or the sentences is at the top and the bottom of the image. So that's all for top and bottom. So let's go on to behind text so behind text so again wrap text behind text so as you can see the picture is behind the text behind the text 
So next is in front of text. So you can see the picture is now in front of the text. Sorry. It is in front of the text.